Well, hello again, random viewer. Welcome back. I'm Archie Stormcloud, and I want to thank you for tuning in to my basic skills guide, part one, Hidden Stashes, How to Bury Loot. From gear to guns to ammo to your ex-girlfriend revenge porn, I'm going to show you how to bury it and recover it safely. Let's get started. So to make a stash, you need a container such as a teddy bear, dry sack, a first aid pouch, a protector case, a cooking pot, a waterproof backpack, ammo can, refrigerator, a wooden case, or a sea chest. Links to each of these will be in the description to help you find them. And lastly, you need an earth turning instrument such as any variety of shovel you can find in Shinaris. It's so simple to make stashes. Find a container and find a safe, secluded spot to bury it. Stick all your highest tier, highest valued loot inside. Whip out your big, girthy digging tool, look at the container, and you'll be prompted to bury it. There's so much potential here for jokes about going deep, but I think you guys are better off without them. Recovering stashes is just as simple. Just aim your digging tool at the hole and you'll quickly be prompted to dig up the pile of dirt. Now before you head off to your adventures in cringy pirate roleplay, you need to know one thing. Differentiating depending on terrain, burying stashes leaves an enormous and unsightly hole that everybody and their fat cousin will notice. Fucking Helen Keller would have a hard time missing this thing. A couple ways to circumvent this are to plant your stashes underneath low hanging trees and low crawling shrubbery or bushes. Another tip is to chop down a bush and bury your container beneath it so that when the server restarts, the bush will regenerate and completely hide the disturbed dirt. One of my favorite places to bury stashes are inside greenhouses. The tampered dirt blends in perfectly with the rest of the flower beds potting soil and potential prospectors will walk right on by without a clue. Most undisturbed stashes will last about 45 days depending on the persistency of the server in which you're playing. Just return to the stash, dig it up, and bury it again to reset persistency. Once again, I hope this video was incredibly informative and helpful to you. If there's anything you'd like us to cover in future videos, drop it in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to help out the channel. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, come see us on Twitch. And until then, I'm Archie Stormcloud, and I'll see you in Chinaris.